flaming screens with Frank DeCaro. I don't know much about where I'm from, but I know I strike fear everywhere I come. Government Let's get to work. So I wear my gun. I'm no straight rocket launcher, but I'm still too young. This can't be giving courage not to fear no one, to feel no pain in hate. Go, 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 go. So I hear no screams and I shed no tears. The last time I saw a movie with this much testosterone, I was standing in a buddy booth. In G.I. Joe Retaliation, the tanned and ripped sequel to the 2009 action hit G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, living doll Channing Tatum goes from Ho to Joe, playing Duke, a soldier whose battalion is nearly wiped out in an air attack. I'm starting to feel the rise of my Cobra. The caramel goodness that is Dwayne Johnson plays Duke's best friend Roadblock. I want to be caught between that rock and a hard place. Drive it like you stole it. As your good friend, you need a new catchphrase. What Channing really needs is a new agent, because he's not in this movie for very long. He doesn't even get to go to Gay Ski Weekend. Before they even serve the hot cocoa, Duke is gone, and London Bridge is falling down, along with everything else. Who's behind the plot to destroy life as we know it? Well, of course, it's Welsh actor Jonathan Price playing a U.S. president with a terrible skin condition. They're never going to be able to fix that at the Mac counter. Jonathan Price always plays the bad guy. He was mean to Pierce Brosnan in Tomorrow Never Dies, mean to those filthy little urchins in Oliver, and even mean to Madonna in Evita. Well, we were all pretty mean to Madonna in Evita. You're insane. No, I'm just a bitch. Hell yeah! So is there anyone who can help them? There is one man. Yep, it's Bruce Willis. And G.I.M. too old for this is still one tough cookie. Take two cases of Thin Mints and a box of Chuckalux. He's not only starved for revenge, he's just plain starving. You all right? My cholesterol's a little high. Of course it's a little high. You just ate two cases of Thin Mints. Is it me, or has Mary had a bit of an edge ever since she got dumped by G.I. Jane? Bitch stole my look! My favorite part of G.I. Joe Retaliation, though, is the love story between star-crossed ninjas Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. In the movie's best scene, Storm Shadow primps for his big date with One-Eyed Snake, and pretty soon he's climbing the walls with anticipation. My sword just got bigger, too. Storm Shadow is played by South Korean actor Byung Hun Lee. He's so sexy, you'll forget all about that other South Korean guy. Open Gangnam Style! You'll start ordering all your hunks with a side of kimchi. I'm gonna be practicing my kung fu grip to that for weeks. And that's why I'm giving this general four stars. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom. Nice. Well, until next time, this is Frank DiCaro for Flaming Screens, reminding you to hold on to your stub, just in case you want to go back in. Come to daddy. Ooh.